Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to another video on Millennial Senin. In today's video, I want to create a quick reminder for you to just kind of take a step back, wind up, wind up, take a deep breath and wind off or however you say it, just relax from your day. And really, I wanted to just remind you that someday you are going to die and I'm not doing this to kind of be dramatic I'm doing it for really practical reasons really um, yeah someday you're going to die and probably and not probably but maybe and uh, for some people it's probably I don't know more more sooner like much much sooner than you think you're going to die and it may be 60 years for some of you, for some of you, it, you may think that there are 50 or 60 years, but maybe you're, something happens and you're gone in, in 10 years, who knows, you never know when you're going to die, I never know when I'm going to die, I hope I die in 60 years or more, or 100 or 80, but I could be dead in like one year, I could be dead in f six months, I could be dead in 10 years, who knows, you know, you, we all have these big plans, and we all like procrastinating stuff. I'm going to do this uh, later. I have time for this. And uh, as they say in one of the local TV shows, one grandma, she said, uh, when we are young, life always kind of uh, lies to us. It kind of always tricks us. So we think we have more time than we do have. Um, actually, life is really short. I have this really cool book that I, that I just bought. What you he heard were like three books falling down. <laughs> I like just bought a bunch of books, but this is one of them, if you can see. And I can't wait to read this one. It's On the Shortness of Life by Seneca. Um, it's a Stoic philosophy. And I really like Stoicism, man. It's uh, Marcus Aurelius as well, Meditations. I really like the way Stoics uh, like go about life, you know, and uh, it's really similar that I see many successful people going about life and all of the successful people had at some point in their life really realization that they actually like really like actually are going to die like you're going to be dead and nothing that you have done or that you're doing and your little petty problems and stuff like that, that shit do doesn't matter at all. And uh, your like short term problems and maybe your six months problems and stuff that's really important to you right now, it's like really not important. Even in this life, it's probably not going to be relevant in about a year or two or 10 years. But like when you're dead, it's definitely not going to be relevant. And all the stuff that you create, even if you create some really good stuff, it's probably going to be gone in like, let's say that you create some really great stuff. It's probably going to be gone if you if you are part of the one, like point 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 oh one per percent of people, and you create something really amazing, a book, uh, music or whatever, a movie or whatever. In a hundred years, like, maybe, I don't know. 0.0001% of people who study like great all the greats will remember you and in like thousand years if uh, if you do not start another religion maybe like a 10,000 people will remember you and in like 10,000 years like nobody will remember you unless you are some revolutionist who maybe made us like maybe what Elon Musk does who like maybe made us expand into the unknown parts of the universe or whatever. But even that guy in like a hundred thousand years will be remembered as name and nobody will really care. And in about like million years, which is which goes like this in the time span of the universe, lifespan of the universe, and uh, nobody nobody knows who you are. And nothing that you ever done really matters. And in like in the next and when the universe collapses into one like spot and then like another big bang starts 
let's say then when another big bang starts uh, the stuff that happens uh, doesn't repeat itself so maybe you're not going to exist that time uh, that then nobody remembers as well okay and uh, like basically what you need to realize is whatever you actually whatever you do in your life however meaningful it is um, it doesn't really matter so that being the case what you should do is really find your own meaning in life like what what really matters to you and that's when you need to do this death meditation and just lie down on the ground close your eyes and just imagine that you're on your deathbed and you have 10 more minutes to live what are the things you have maybe mi mo one more minute to live what are the things that you would regret who are the people that you would regret not texting well sorry what are the goals that you regret not pursuing what are the places you regret not traveling to what are some of the things that you regret that you didn't buy because you didn't think that you can afford it but maybe you when you realize that you are going to die in one minute maybe you're like oh maybe i should have just bought myself that nice cake or something or that uh, new car or something of course you're <laughs> you're not actually going to die tomorrow so don't like go overspend it that's not the goal of this exercise but just kind of see what are the things that you're going to regret okay and then from that place things like hitting like texting people and calling people that really matter or switching your focus on pursuing your own goals and maybe creating a plan where maybe in five years you really get that car like you can course correct with with this exercise you know you never as um, mike posner i think that's how you say his name says in that song you don't want to be high like me okay uh, you should listen to to his song um, I took a pill in Ibiza or in Ibiza, Ibiza where he talks a bit about the song in the beginning uh, about how his father died and when Avicii died as well how he had all these realizations uh, it's this one as you can see it's this one where he has this beard you, sh you should listen to that intro and then to that song. That song is like really deep. Really, really deep song. And like really just meditate on your d death. Remember that you're going to die. This is actually how much time you have to live, okay? These are, there are 52 weeks in every year. And they're like, they're, here there's like a hundred years. But more likely you're going to live maybe up to here, like 80. Like you're not gonna live hundred years. Uh, like maybe you are but not not most people like 100 you know 80 and like if you're 25 or 30 that this is how much you already lived this is 30 years so like here this is 60 years up to here and then you have like these 20 years depending on how well you took care of your health maybe you could do something useful if you were really took care of your health and be productive in those 60 to 80 but most like for many many people like 70 to 80 you're going to be like half mobile half dead like plant half human half plant so like really you're probably somewhere here like 20 to 30 or like 18 to 30 and like what are you going to do with these next 25 to 30 years or maybe even 40, let's say 40 years, 40 years. And you can do whatever you want, but you have to decide. And you have to decide to do, because nothing actually matters, you have to decide to do something that is going to matter to you and it's going to fulfill you. Uh, because everybody's got those little plans for, your, for you. And none of those plans are yours. And not even your preferences most of the time are yours. Think about the girl, the type of the girl you like. Do you actually like that type of a girl or is that something that you have learned from Instagram and stuff like that? I really realized that because I was uh, like 
into pickup community and like doing game and and dating so much and there is this ideal type of this girl that's really popular right now it's like that um, latina black hair and uh, those adidas shoes and stuff stuff like that and really good butt and um, of course tight hip hip to waist ratio but i i think that part is universal every every single man or like 90 percent of men are like tight hip uh wide hips tight uh, waist that's like nature but that those parts about the face and the makeup that Kim Kardashian type that is really important, right? That like bitchy face. Is that really your type or is that just something that you have learned? And uh, is the type of personality that that's even more important? Is the type of personality that you think you like actually what you like? Or is it something totally different? And I realized that for myself. I actually dated girls that for like those bitchy types. And I realized that I did not, did not really enjoy it. It's more that I thought I was kind of conditioned to think that I'm going to enjoy that. And um, yeah, just think what are your goals, man? And when you find something by doing that death meditation, just go pursue it. And even if in the end it turns out that part of that goal was something that you were, the, some of the conditioning, like social conditioning maybe, television, reality shows, parents, schools. When you realize that that's not actually your goal, at least you're going to know to course correct and maybe your goal is not here, but it's a little bit to the left, you know? But if you are, you think that this is your goal here, but you keep chasing all these goals like over there because somebody else has a plan for you, you're never even going to realize that maybe your goal is over here or over here. You know, you're never going to get closer to it. You're just going to keep it somewhere in your mind, always regretting every day that you're not doing anything about it. And then just life slips by and bath your death and dead. And on your deathbed, you're going to have all that regret. And um, yeah, I realized that for myself, like, um, I would rather, I would rather like, like go homeless, like become homeless. And uh, here is a secret guys, in today's society, it's really hard to become like homeless. And let's saying that you are healthy, like that you're a healthy human being. It's really hard to actually become homeless and go live on the street and die out uh, because you are uh, hungry, you know? There is so much abundance, like there is so much food and like shelter that, you know, you always have at least the basic needs. You will always have the basic needs covered, especially if you're like 20 or something year old and you can live with your parents. Like, dude, you have all the freedom in the world to start pursuing what you want in your life. And uh, yeah, so just kind of take that step and... Um, I'm doing that, I'm taking that step right now and um, um, it's not always, it's not always like the safest way and I'm not really sure always that I'm doing the best thing possible at the moment, but what I'm sure of is that, what I'm definitely sure of is that at least I'm not going to regret not trying <laughs> and uh, that's, that's, um, that's good enough reason for me to at least give to give it my best right now okay and if some goals if if at some results are already here but if even more results come then i could just continue building um on that you know uh but yeah and i love it when people actually text me like this video was great you helped me a ton because i have two channels i have like kind of two audiences I have one for where I live in, on my native native language, and I have this one where I'm talking to everybody else. So, like on both channels, there are people like texting me, like, this is good stuff, I like what you're doing, keep going. Uh, even though it's kind of grow, it's still growing, and I'm grateful for that. It's growing a bit slower, but 
of course it's not the type of vir viral content that's supposed to grow uh, really fast and I'm also studying stuff on the side that's not related to spiritual gro growth and uh, alchemy and uh, trauma release energy work and everything that I'm talking about here so yeah uh, basically uh, I kind of got sidetracked the point of this video is realize what you want to do and uh, another point of this video is follow me on Instagram why won't this thing pop up never mind and uh, subscribe on my YouTube channel here for more content like this let's see this thing just doesn't want to pop up okay whatever so, so follow me on Instagram uh, you'll I'll have it in the description you can text me DM me whatever you want to ask I uh, check it out like every other day for messages and like uh, more likely I check it like once every four or five days uh, because Instagram is really sucking away my or used to suck away my productivity as well you can comment whatever you have to ask in this description uh, is in this comment section I don't even know what I'm talking about in the comment section and link to the my Instagram is in the description and one more thing I have a Facebook group um, and um, I have a Facebook group so kind of DM me on Instagram if you want me to add you uh, that's kind of I'm going to be building a community around these topics on Facebook so yeah just add me I'm going to be sharing there and I expect you to share among uh, with me and among yourselves and we're kind of going to create this um, cool group of like-minded positive people but not like fake positive but like real productive positive people and um, uh, yeah, I think that's it. I'm going to, from the in the future videos. I'm just going to be leaving links to the group uh, In this one, I still haven't created it. I have from one for my native language, but I don't I realize that I don't have one for like people outside of my country. So yeah uh, This is it for today's video. I hope this kind of helped you realize some things do that death meditation It will help you a ton and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out Thank you.